we've finally made it end of the last question, question 25. And there's no doubt this is a tricky question. No doubt about it at all. Um, so we've got lots of information. There's some red counters and some white counters in the bag. At the start, seven of the counters are red and the rest of the counters are white. So um, he takes a round of counters from the bag. He does not put it back. So this is a dependent probability without replacement. And then he takes a second one. And we're told the property pulls white first and red second is 21 over 81. But we're going to have to create some kind of algebra equation. So the first thing to think about is we know there's seven red counters in the bag at the start. If we don't know how many white, that's what we want to find. That's what it says here, well, I've had the number of white. So let's give that a letter, X. So to start with, this is going to help our calculations. To start with, the total is number of counters in the bag is X plus 7. And we're going to use all that information in a second. Now, we want to work out the probability of white, then red. So the property of picking a white counter first is X out of X plus 7. We're going to multiply that by picking a red counter second. So there's 7 reds, we're not picked a red. We're going to pick the second counter, so it's out of the total, but the total's now gone down by 1 because you picked this first white counter here. So it's going to be X plus not 7, but 6. And we're told this answer, we know this answer is equal to 21 over 80. So what we're going to do is if we sort this algebraic expression out, we've got uh, denominator, which is a quadratic X expression, X plus 7, X plus 6, multiply across the top to get to 7, 8. And we know that answer is 21 over 80. So we're obviously going to have to sort this equation out and solve it. So I'm going to multiply the left numerator by 80 and the right numerator by this double bracket. So it's going to give us this. 7x times 80 is 560x. And on the right hand side, we're going to get 20 lots of whatever we get when we expand this double bracket. So we get 560x here, then we're going to get 21 times, and let's expand this bracket, this double bracket. But remember, they're all multiplied by 21, so I do that in a second. x times x, x x squared, I'm going to get 7x and 6x, which is 13x, and 6 times 7, and 7 times 6 is 42. So if I just get multiply out the 21 from everything, I get 21x squared plus 21 times 13 is 273x and 21 times 42 is 882. So I've got a quadratic equation here and um, I'm just going to get everything on one side um, and then I'm going to write the zero on the right Oh, it doesn't matter, I just wish I could do it here. So what have we got? We've got 21x squared. Take the 560x off this. Gives us minus 287x. And then we've got 882. So, um, with a bit of experiment, I just tried it on my calculator. I thought 21 might go into everything. It's not true, it doesn't. So I divided everything by 7. So 7 goes into everything here. So I'll make my life a little bit easier. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 287 divided by 7 is 41. And 802 by 7, 126. So I've now got to solve that quadratic equation. So I'm going to try and factorise it. You are perfectly acceptable to use the formula if you need to, but it does actually factorise, it just takes a little bit of fiddling around. So we know it's going to be 3x and x, uh, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find out different combinations to make 126. So two numbers to multiply make this, add up to make minus 41. 
So I tried 1 in 126, doesn't work. 2 in 63 doesn't work. And then kept going. 3 in 42 doesn't work. 6 in 21, it's just experimenting on what happened, doesn't work. 7 and 18, unfortunately, doesn't work. And the last one I got were the two factors. 9 times 14 is 126. And that is the one we want. It works. So 3 times 9 is 27. Add on 14 is minus 41. Or give us 41. So we know they're both going to be negatives. We've got to make plus 126. So it's going to be, and I want the 9 times the 3. I want the 9 here. And I want the 14 here. So it gives me two solutions. One of the solutions is x equals 9. The other solution is plus 14 divided by 3. Well, we can't have 14 over 3. This one can't be right because x is the number of counters. So we can discount that. There must have been 9 white counters overall. So there's 9 Counters just squeeze down the screen. I want counters. And then we finish. Pretty involved question. It is the hardest question on this, probably one of the hardest questions on this paper, uh, and is the last question. So go back over it, play it again if you need to.